Hello and welcome to the race by race preview for Shatin on Sunday. Ten race program and a double group one on the menu as well. Joined on the panel by Paul Lally and Nick Child. And Nick, both by Cuckoo and Golden 60 trying to win the races that they both won this time last year. Yeah, absolutely, Mark. Um, look, it's thoroughly exciting stuff, isn't it, really, with a couple of group ones on the program. As you say, Golden 60, the champ, the beaten last time, but he can certainly bounce back, I'm sure. And, uh, and obviously, Waikuku, a very smart horse, uh, going for another uh, Queen's Silver Jubilee Cup. So, so much to look forward to. And if two Group 1s aren't enough to get your fire going, Paul, you've got some really healthy-looking jackpots as well. Yeah, Triple Trio is up to 5 million jackpot, so that's a decent one. And the bottom one there, which is the 6-up win bonus, that's 7.8 million. So that's getting up there as well. So a couple of uh, really good jackpots there. Uh, look, Golden 60 is one of those legs, isn't it, of the 6-up uh, uh, win as well. So uh, maybe it's a pick 5. It might be a cool, wet day at Shantin tomorrow too, so we'll keep an eye on that. Certainly is the day prior and the top of 11 degrees forecast for Sha Tin. Straight into the first race, the Ambitious Dragon Handicap over the 2,000 metres. And we've got Charity Go, who's got an extra three pounds for his 1,800 metre win last time. Delightful Lau, second time at the 2,000. His only appearance at this distance was in the derby. Super Football gets the tongue tie on. Enjoying has placed his last two on the turf. Tianchi Monster is a two-time winner over the 2,000 metres. And looking great, Nick goes from the 1,800 to the 2,000. We should be able to match a few of these up OK because all seven come out of the same race on the 3rd of February. They certainly do. And as for the speed, well, it's it's not likely to be the, the slickest in the world. You've got Enjoying, who does like to go forward. He's actually run some of his better races when, when going forward. Looking great, looks to get a nice position, but just behind him in two. And Tianchi Monster is another horse who can, can sit prominently, uh, Paul. But uh, as Mark alluded to, they're all coming out of the same race. So the pace is certainly going to be an interesting angle. Yeah, it will be. There's, uh, it's not going to be run at any sort of speed, is it? So uh, I think uh, Enjoying will go forward once again. That's the speed map that uh, we expect might happen in the first. Here's the race last time, Paul. Charity go first, looking great second, enjoying third. Berlin Tango six, Chianti Monster eight, Super Football tenth. Delightful Lau, whose starts have been abysmal, 13th. Yeah, he's, he still needs to learn to jump. Look, I thought it was a good run here from um, looking great. He sat in behind. Up to 2,000 metres looks absolutely ideal. It'll be his first go over the 2,000 here in Hong Kong. He's drawn 12, 12 and 13 in his last three starts. Has had to work a little bit to get across, but uh, from his inside draw barrier too, he's going to get the perfect run. Enjoying, he'll be able to uh, dictate there. And a nice run from Charity Go. So all those three go in for me. Yeah, I think they certainly have to. The winner was was good. Obviously, he's hit the line quite nicely. But the run of, of looking uh, looking great was a, was a good one as well. And he now receives just the three pounds. He receives three pounds from Charity Go. They raced off levels last time, so I think the the sort of the pendulum swings in his direction a little bit here. All right. So it sounds like it's uh, race one, number seven for both of you boys. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, looking great. I think it will just get the perfect run in behind the pace, and he can win this. Uh, look, enjoying from the front. Berlin Tango has been a very expensive horse. He's yet to win here in Hong Kong from his 13 starts. In fact, he hasn't run first or second, but Zach Purton from Barrier One and Charity Go win that back that last start win. So seven, five, four, and one. Yeah, similar sort of numbers uh, to Paul here. I've gone with the horse down at the bottom. There's only a £5 spread in this handicap, which is is fascinating, but looking great, I think, can take full advantage uh, in the opener. Over Charity Go, Berlin Tango, for all the points that Paul made, he's been an expensive horse to follow and is still yet to win one here. And Enjoying goes in, also can lead 7 1, 4, and 5. The early punters think that Umfaband will be playing because Berlin Tango's come up the 3.3 favourite for race one.